This show's called Dave. That's like my name. My name's on the line. How could I not oversee every single little detail? I need to be crazy. I try to be as controlling as possible without like really annoying the shit out of everybody. I fucked up with the assholes to you. Did I say, did I say who's an asshole to you? I don't know, let's start it over. Well, let's get, I think we can, there's a cut to be made there. Okay. I remember when I first met him, the thing that stuck with me was that he, he said, you know, the perfect thing about the show is that it's gonna be coming out right as like my music career is peaking. And I was just like, wow, okay. I mean, that's an incredible amount of confidence. I'm a once in a generation artist. Oh. I mean, I hope he doesn't see this because it can go to his head, but he is so talented across a variety of fields. Not only was he right, but I was so lucky to spend that quality time with him before he really took off. When you first meet Dave, it's kind of like, he sounds crazy. This is the most innovative piece of music probably ever. He has all these dreams and you're like, ha ha ha, that's crazy. <laughs> and then as you, sit, you spend time with him, it's sort of, it's like, oh sure, I actually think you can do these things. I was, first of all, very impressed with Dave as a writer. You know, I knew he was a good rapper. Um, I knew he was very funny, but it really translated to the page and his ability to really capture the vulnerability of the main character. What brings you in today? So a few days ago I was shaving and I noticed these red bumps on my Dave Bird is a non-stop machine. He is tireless. It's amazing what he's doing right now. He's acting, he's writing music for himself. He's literally going over every bit of production and he's editing. And we're doing all of this at the same time. Every day I go in with a plan and then you're just running out of time and you gotta completely throw your plan out and on the fly create a new plan, which is very challenging but then you become a problem solver. Something very infectious about his enthusiasm and his spirit. You know, hopefully people will get a little bit of that spirit because it's really something to be around and very lovely. Okay, it's a camera. That checks out, that's a camera. Whenever I'm working with him in a scene, I feel like I have 100% of his focus and his commitment. He's made it such a safe space to ask questions. I don't ever feel, no matter how small the question is, he makes me feel like I can go to him and double check things. The team I have behind me has done so much important shit from a television person. Can I curse or no? Yeah. Okay, so much important shit. So I really feel like I can lean on my support system. I'm honored to be a part of your gander, as you would put it. I think it's cool. I think we're gonna be telling this story at like our 50th birthday party. 50th birthday party? You're gonna set acting. <laughs> I've never acted, I've never written. So on the one hand, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. But I feel like I'm destined to be one of the greatest of all time at this. And good. Okay.